Welcome back to Let's Play Digimon Digital Card Battle. I've been looking forward to recording this all week. <laughs> so anyway, last time we uh, got a tutorial from Betamon and we talked to the Battle Master for the Battle Arena. So we're just gonna go ahead straight off this episode, start off with going to the Battle Arena. So as this is the first one, it only has um, two Digimon in it. But that number will increase pretty much every arena. So we're going to start off with Agumon. Deck color, he uses three colors and attack, defense, and Digivolve speed of... I don't know where they get those values from. It's not like, you know, you have like a measurement of like... How good your deck is or anything. Maybe that's just like a difficulty setting or something. I don't know. I'm your first opponent. Come on, let's battle. I won't go easy on you. Sorry, I just can't let you win very serious Agumon. So every Digimon, when you're about to fight them in an arena, you can just go straight to battle. Look at deck data. So you can see his information about their deck. Tri-color starter deck. An easy to use deck with three colors. Well, I'm gonna kick his ass. I'm gonna win. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, hit me with your best shot. No, okay. <laughs> so we're pretty much still using our like basic deck that we're given with. We really haven't gotten uh, red deck. So we can put um, different decks in the triangle and X slot, or we can um, press square to like choose any amount of decks we've used. But we only have the one right now, so that's all we're going to use. And with polygon battles are still off, that'll make the battle go much faster. Okay, second turn. Here we go. What's he going to do? Tent I hate Tentomons. Pretty much everything that has circle to zero or circle counter I hate because I, like I'm always too scared to use um oh you know circle what <laughs> this will be cool uh, we've got a flare res I've never actually had to pronounce this name like flare Rizamon. and the cool thing about this Digimon is is as you can see we only need 20 DP Digivolve into this and as most rookies or even Tyrannomon gives 20 Digimolve points we can actually Digivolve into this guy in the first turn. Come at me, bro. Oh, well, we got this Tyronomon for support. Yeah, I don't want to use Circle. Because I'm, like, afraid like that. So I'm just going to go for the Triangle and... Crap, what does that do? I, I always have to check. It's like... Okay, none. He's, he's just wasting it. So let's put a random support in and see what we get. Now, well, I'm glad I used that. Because that could have been, like, anything. And they did use X, so it's a good thing I picked Triangle, see? They're just trying to annoy me. One of the bad things, though, about Digivolving the Champion straight away is that now, like, we don't have a turn to take damage then Digivolve, we're just taking damage as Champion straight away. I would like to kill him this turn, but, you know, he's, he's got so much stuff to stop me from using Circle. And my Triangle's not strong enough to kill him. We're gonna have to go for a random again and see what we get. I don't like doing random while we still have those Dark cards in our deck, though. Well, Agumon, you could have worked, but you didn't, so... Oh well. We'll te definitely take him out next turn, though. <laughs> Only 30 health, he's gone down. Oh, look at this, look at this guy, I'm... Um, Dark Rizomon, he's just the palette swap of what I'm using now. Um... I have no use for, like, any of these guys, but I'll get rid of Gabura Gaburimon, because, like, he's stats are crap. 20 DP, why not? No, no effect, that's the big one, but then again. I suppose sacrificing an effect... Well, what I mean is the guy I'm using now, he, he has no X effect. Why did I use that? Uh, I better not... ...regret that. Okay, no. Yeah, so he has low DP points to digivolve him into him, but in turn you have no X effect, which... I don't really, like, uh, I don't really use X effects that much, it's sort of like, like, depends on what it is, the circle counters are really useful, we haven't actually seen a counter yet, it's pretty much like a circle to zero, except, um, ah, uh, what do I do, he's probably gonna kill me this turn, do I have anything to stop him from using circle? Nope, but I, no, I'm not going first either, both players, yeah, I'll just use this to help him kill me, no, I've really got, like, I've really got nothing, I may as well just pick circle and see what the hell my random support gives me. 
this isn't going well. See, I'm pretty much a champion. Oh, gee. Well, if he didn't pick circle, that would have changed it to it, so I would have just killed myself there. But I'm actually happy to get rid of that stupid... Anyway, so this turn we'll do the pretty much same thing. Um, get rid of him to 30, for 30 DP to digivolve into Tyranomon, because as I just said previously in this battle, I do not like Gaburimon. So he's still got that damn circle to zero. Um, hmm. So since I'm attacking first, I'll risk using the circle. So I'm, I'm not sure how the computer, like, chooses what attack to use. You know what I should have done? I should have used my X special, which would have times my X attack by... Oh, right, never mind. Yeah, so if I get, like, first attack, sometimes I'll risk it. But if I go second, then... I'll go for the two-hit kill because next turn I get to attack first, so it's like he only gets to attack me once. And he's digivolving into the chicken! Cluck cluck! And um The chicken also has X <laughs> circle to zero. Why does everything have circle to zero? This guy probably won't be using circle though, because he's one of the rare Digimon whose circle actually isn't the strongest attack. It's actually um he's triangle that's his strongest. And if he uses that, I'll actually ha only have 10 HP left if he uses Circle. Which he did. Why well, attacking first really doesn't do anything for me, so... I have no idea what's going to happen next turn. Though he's only got 80 health left, so I doubt he'll be able to do much. Do we have... Hmm... I would really like... I know this is crazy, but I'm just going to keep discarding until we get uh, my second Birdrum on, I think. No, because I'd really like to go first. And, like, he can't do anything to stop me. And I, if I kill him, that's the last one, so I won't need... Oh, I, I'm really hoping at this point this deck actually has two Birdrumons in it. If not, well, we're kind of screwed. There we go, all the way at the bottom. Oh, well, I wasn't being an idiot. Okay, so... Yep, and that, just, um, use triangle to be safe. Oh, I get to attack first anyway, I'm dumb. For some reason I thought I was going to go second this turn. Oh well, just waste Bergemon anyway, attack first, so why not? And we'll just get to take this Akatorimon out for the win, yay! Take that, Agumon. Eat some tape covered in letters. That's not Japanese. I think that's like Digimon text. That stuff's weird. Yeah, so from leveling up, we've actually gained our first Digi part. Boost attack power by 50. That's a crap part. And a bunch of new cards. Bomber Nanimon. That's crap. And these Geysermons I won't be using since they're not uh, fire cards, but hey, we need to collect every card anyway, don't we? This is a 100% run, I assume. I should know that. No, it, it probably will be, but like all like the stuff to get 100% is really just collecting cards and stuff, and that's all like grinding off screen. I wouldn't show, so it's like, what's the point of even getting doing 100% when all the stuff to get 100% I wouldn't show because it's just pointless grinding. You won't defeat me so easily next time. Yes, I will actually. So our second and final, you know, three colors again, two attack, defense, and digivolve speed. Wow. They're pretty badass. The big Baba battle master <laughs> of this arena is me, Babamon. Hey, Sunny, you have some skills, but are you good enough to defeat me? Oh, shit, sure, I should look at the deck data, shouldn't I? Oh, I thought I might have um, just, like, quit the arena then for a second, but I don't think you even can do that. All right, deck data. The new power deck. Many new red, green, and blue cards. New? What What does that mean? It's, it's, like, it's not like, you know further in the game, like, new cards get introduced or anything, so that doesn't make sense. Oh, I'll still whoop her ass anyway. It definitely make you wait a while to pick your cards, but I suppose it's like loading battle data or something. I, I wouldn't know. I didn't program the game. Which I seem to be getting a lot of second turn. In fact, I don't think I've gotten second turn one, well, first once yet, but that is sort of good and bad. <laughs> no rookies for you. Uh, cause, um, 
if you go second, that means you actually attack first, because they don't get a turn there. Hmm, should I keep this? Yeah, I like having Bergerons. Hmm, but we can't... Uh, <laughs> we're at the point where... Oh, we'll just do it anyway. I was going to say we can't one-hit the opponent, but I don't really care. So this... Change... Yeah, there are actually support cards you can use to change your um, card's colour. And these, these, there's like one of every card that does that, and they like each... Oh, it's so hard to explain something, because that's so simple. <laughs> it's like a set of cards, each one changes the colour to that specialty, and like does something that like that colour is known for. So this allows you to attack first, because I guess nature is fast, and this allows you to recover 200 HP, because um, water cards have more health than other cards, so it's like, yeah, that makes sense. So let's see if we can get like an Agumon or something. I hate you so much, Dark Deck. I hate you so much. Well, that was a waste of a turn. Oh, well, they still can't one-hit me. So we're safe. We're safe for this turn, and then we can hopefully Digivolve to Bergen on next turn if we get, like, uh, another rookie to put in the DP slot. Okay. Something really hates me right now. <laughs> Oh, it's not like I would have one-hit them anyway, so... Can't complain, got some free health out of it, not that that matters since I'm just gonna Digivolve right now. Hmm, yeah, I'll put... Even though I could just use a Speed Digivolve... Um, I'll put that guy in the DP slot, because he's, like, useless, so let's just Digivolve to Bergeron... And go in for the one-hit KO! Circle attack, obviously. Having the X ability of, um, first attack isn't really as helpful as, you, as you'd think, because obviously you can only use X, and X attacks are really weak, so unless they have, like, a ridiculously low amount of health, which really doesn't happen as much as you would think it would, ah, uh, it's kind of useless. Salmon. Didn't I just kill one of those? So what do, what do they got? Garudumon, if own attack, circle attack first, and... Change special to fire and boost 200. So um, yeah, nothing like they, they can't stop me. Just uh, going for the circle. Oh no, they actually do have more health than my circle attack. Oh, well, as random support it is then. I de definitely do random support a lot. I can't deny that. Well, I, I I am right now because I haven't like a lot of my sh cards are really shit. Are you kidding? Oh. I hate these things! I'm taking them out of my deck after this, like, so bad. <laughs> it's like, you don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna put, um, Tyranomon in. He gives a nice 20 and has no effects, so why not, right? Okay, we still... We could use... Vemon to power my attack up by... You know what? As much as I hate to actually use my partner card, we don't have any armor to Digivolve it instantly right now, so it's kind of irrelevant. So, yeah, we'll just use Vemon, why not? Don't worry, Vemon, you'll become very useful later. Okay, so take a bit of damage and in for the exact amount of HP to kill. You actually get like a special bonus for that if it's the last Digimon, but that wasn't the last Digimon, so. Ooh, ooh! Ooh, we can actually do it again. Okay, um, let's pick Circle. And that will be exact amount of HP to kill, and I'll use Bergemon to go first. If they don't, unless they use, okay, no they didn't. If they use that, um, tea bag thing, whatever it is, they could have gone first. What does that do? Nothing much, okay. Okay, yeah. See, we see the bonus, just enough attack to win. Sometimes stuff like that comes up, and, um, that'll just give us more experience for our partner card. Which isn't very useful yet, because we don't have... As I said, we don't have any armor for it yet, so... We'll get some soon, though. Next city, next city. So we've got all these bonuses. All circle attack win. I didn't use triangle X once. No discard win. Didn't discard. No loss win. Didn't lose a single Digimon. And the just enough attack to win. Uh, the one in the brackets, that's how many times you've gotten that bonus. I'm at two levels up. HP. Uh, so here are some actual useful Digi parts. That other one changed the changed the support effect, but this stuff just gives bonuses to the Digimon itself. So if I use Vmon with these equipped, oh, he'll have 50 extra health and 50 extra circle attack power. 
Obviously, we'll get a bunch more useful ones later. Th those aren't that great. Level up more and we'll get better ones. Obviously, that's how stuff like that works, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you beat me. You have a lot of potential. I'm looking forward to seeing you grow in your genitalia area. No, okay. No. No. <laughs> if you want to battle me again, come to the battle cafe. I'll be waiting for you. Ha. 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 Congratulations on winning! You got the passcode to Flame City. You got an option pack. So we just get like three option cards. Mm, nothing, nothing I use. I pretty much just use attack boosters. You got a Skull Greymon card. I really wasn't hoping for that. Um, You can either get a Fire or a Dark Ultimate card here. Or you'd obviously get a different card if you started with a different deck. But since we started with Fire and that, yeah, you get it. And anyway, so we got the Dark here. I wanted the Fire, but eh, not, not much you can do about it. I suppose we could reset the game, but it's really not worth it. Skull Greymon's actually pretty rare. Unlike the Fire one you get. Um, the Fire one you get is Merrimon, which is pretty, one of the most common fire ultimates, so... Yeah, so we actually, we need to go to the... I did not mean to go to the Battle Cafe. But that's good anyway. So as you can see, all the opponents, and by all, I mean one, from the Battle Arena get put in the Battle Cafe after you win at the Battle Arena. So we can just, like, fight or talk to Agumon here if you want. A basic deck should have about 10 rookies, 7 champions, and 3 ultimates. It should also have about 2 Digivolve option cards and 8 attack option cards. I would stay away from decks that are too tricky in the beginning. Begin with the basics. Remember, once you enter an ar arena, you won't be able to edit your deck. You should create free decks ASAP, but you need to collect cards to do that. Um, no, I only use one deck throughout the entire game, because that's how I fly. My from this le Let's Play, I might... We might use some decks I've never used before, I don't know. Might step out of my comfort zone a bit. So anyway, we've got this, um, player's room down here. Which, only some cities have this, which is pretty much just like, you know... Some data. Game completion, 4.2%. Uh, I don't think so. We've got way more to go than that. Partner cars and digi eggs. You know, you got the decks. Pretty much just a basic information. Nothing too special there. So we press triangle to actually go to the world map. Something we have not done before. And we can now go to Flame City. Because we've got the passcode to go to that. Uh, it's like... Why do we need a passcode to go to the city? Unless it's like, you know, digital. So it's like... We need to know, we have, we need to have like the address for the city to be able to go to it. Because without the address, we can't get to it unless we knew the IP address of the city, which we could then do a DNS lookup. Okay, I, I can assure you pretty much no one understood that. And if you did, you get top, top um, awesomeness value. So we're at, we're at Flame City. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll go on the Battle Cafe, why not? Who we got here? Just Davis from uh, season two and someone I don't know. Hi, my name is Davis. Nice to meet you. I would try and put on the voice he has in the anime, but I'd be like way off, so I'm not even going to try. Hi, I'm Josh Kell. Don't you forget it. I think I already said that. <laughs> Can I talk to you? Something is bothering me. Sure. Dot dot dot. What's on your mind? Something weird is going on at the arenas in many cities lately. Well, I only arrived in Digiland a few days ago, so I wouldn't know. No, I don't know anything, apparently. Everyone has to tell me everything. Oh, I see, dot, dot, dot. So, what's wrong? Well, I'm not 100% sure, so you're 95% sure? I just have this bad feeling, dot, dot, dot. What's with all the dot, dot, dots? <laughs> They're everywhere. Are you planning to go on to the next city? Yeah, I think so, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I see, dot, dot, dot. If you're going to the arena, be ca really careful. Okay, I'll watch out. If you win, come back and see me. I'll have something for you. Good luck, and I'll see you later. Okay, see you later. Dot, dot, dot. So we're have, going to have to... The, the arena's still not open, so we're going to have to talk to some other people first. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, qu question mark. So you're the new card tamer. Yes, I'm Josh Kellen. You are... Me, dot, 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 question mark. I am, dot, dot, dot. That's not important. Hello, that's not important. I'm Josh Kell. <laughs> Lately, a lot of strange things have been going on. Be careful. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 question mark, question mark, question mark. 
The battle arena is now open. Those ready to rumble, come on down. Well, I would like to come on down, but we don't have enough time for that. That'll be all for this episode. So next time, we'll do the Flame City Battle Arena, which actually has three opponents in it. Uh, before we do that, we might actually edit our deck next episode. But, yeah, not now. Sorry. So that'll be all for this time. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Dot, dot, dot. I'll see you next time. Dot, dot, dot. Take care.